I'm not really sure there's a lot of content creators out there making this video, but uh, I feel a bit cheated. So what I have for you guys right here is, of course, this G16 uh, laptop. This is the new 2024 model from Asus ROG. It is driving me crazy because of a sound it makes. Yeah, it drives me bananas. It seems that there's a bit of a gap here. I'm not sure if mine, uh, well, maybe had some issues during the transport. I'm not really sure, or this is a quality control issue for this. I hope that something happened to it during the shipping, because otherwise, if this is indeed a quality control issue for Asus, that sucks. I mean, this laptop is really expensive, an arm and a leg out there, and to get this quality control issues with these, yeah, no, no bueno, no bueno. Um, yeah, well, anyway, we'll get back to this in a second. The issue, or I should say, the reason why I have this out here, this is a more than 10 years old by now computer from Mac, or I should say from Apple. This is a MacBook Pro. It is a, I think a 15 inch Retina or something like that. Anyway, uh, it's been through hell and back. I mean, it's battered. It's really, really scuffed up. It's, it's, it's missing all its footings here. It's been apart more times than I can actually count. It's missing a bunch of screws. I have a problem with the heat sink where it just became unsoldered from the motherboard because I was throwing it around in and out of backpacks all day. It is really, really scuffed. And it's, but you know what? It still works. It's good for browsing, it's good for listening to music and maybe searching the internet. Not so good for editing, playing games I can't even mention because it was never good at that. But uh, you know what? This is 12 years old, solid aluminum chassis built. The hinges on this guy, even though it's been, uh, it's been battered quite a bit, this is even, you know, it's, it's really, really, let's, let's take a look here if I can maybe probably focus. Yeah, this isn't supposed to be like that. That's a big hit there. It's, it's just, you know, it's, it's coming undone. But you know what? The hinge is solid. It opens up. It works. It's, it's fine. And you know what? No creaks, no sounds. My video just started. So yeah, you know what? 10 years lot of heavy abuse and this guy still works what is that all about uh, and it feels solid on top of anything else so this being a brand new product 2024 out in the making I'm I know I made a video about this guy highlighting all its goodies and even though I only have it for about uh, three weeks now I think my honeymoon period might be getting over slowly it is definitely a champ, it is a performance beast, none of that, I mean all of that is still holding through, of course, but I'm talking about the build quality today here because there's something amiss here and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it because I'm probably betting that the screws holding the screen together here at the hinge where I have a problem, yeah, they might have, uh, I don't know, I'm hoping that they're unloose or I'm hoping that they're loose, um, I'm hoping something along those lines because otherwise this is going back because it is a piece of garbage, quality control wise, or maybe damage during shipping, I don't know, one of those twos. But if I can't fix it with the screws, then there's definitely an issue here, and uh, I wanna get to the bottom of it. So let's dive right into it, open it up, see what's on the inside, and maybe see how we can fix my issue with the creaks. Yeah, so I'm gonna start off with all the screws here, I'm pretty sure they're not all the same length, so we are going to be using my trusty eye fix it uh, bit here. And I'll try to remove everything non-intrusive or in a way where I can actually put it back in case I have to send it back and try and hopefully fix it. And I don't have to actually send it back, but let's try and see because it's driving me bananas at a point where, yeah, I, I, I just can't use it like this. I'm, uh, I feel sorry for them, but uh, yeah, this doesn't work for me. I mean, I paid a lot of money for this and I don't see why I should put up with things. The only reason I'm not sending it back directly is, well, this opportunity to actually get a video made. Otherwise, it would have went back immediately. So one screw goes out. There seems to be four screws here on the top holding the bottom part here. So far, all of them are the same length. This is the problem corner right here, so uh, we'll get back to that guy. So this is a different screw. All right, so now I have removed all the screws. As you can see, there are about four with four, 
and another three here so that uh yeah that means around 11 screws or so let's try and see if there's any clips holding this puppy in here and my problematic corner right here let's try and see if we can uh, pry this up just ever so slightly So another thing that is covered right here, listen, so first of all we have this, which is definitely a fingerprint or a smudge from the factory, but this shroud right here is metal, take a listen if I tap on it, quite solid, let's take a listen to the other one. I'm tapping it very lightly by the way, so once again, same place on the other one. Yeah, definitely some QA stuff in there and that screw as you can see it's mounted on the other side So I would have to remove the whole thing so that I can uh, you know tighten this fan back into this correct position, but uh Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. There's nothing I can do. Okay, so these are the screws for the hinge mechanism and They seem to be in good working shape. So this screw right here, which looks like that that doesn't look like that from me uh, it was actually a little bit loose, like maybe quarter of a turn. Let me see if I could turn it back more. Okay, still one. Uh, is it labeled? Yeah, I think this is number one, that's three, and this is two. So that's the way everything it should be um, torqued down, I think. Yeah, this is definitely torqued. But this was not, and it looks like that. Has it been tampered with? I'm, I'm not sure. So is that the uh, source of my noise? Yeah, that screw doesn't look good. And it came like that. So definitely let me know, guys, what you think down in the comments. Because this is, uh, this, is a, this is a doozy. I paid a lot of money for this guy. I'm always paying money, my own money, I should say, for all the stuff that I review here on the channel. And since this was the one that I was promised as a replacement to that, I mean, I really made a promise to myself because I need to keep this channel going and the workflow going. So I need to be able to work uh, on the go. And this was definitely the promise for that. Even with the butt ton of money that I paid for it, uh, you get things like this. And this. And as much. I don't agree with this thing. All right, so now that they're all in place, uh, more or less loosely, I will start by tightening them in a start pattern moving towards the center so that everything sits down flat and nice and I will have an overall very good uh, pressure set on the machine here. So moving in a start pattern, trying to work my way towards the center of the machine. No rattling so far, so good. Okay, let's open the lid, let's see. Ha! Huh, that took care of my problem. That took care of my problem. So maybe that little screw was my issue. It seems that anyway I managed to fix this little guy and no more rattling sound. But it's definitely good to know what's happening inside and how quality assurance goes with products nowadays. And for the money that I spent on this guy, I should definitely have not went through the trouble of actually trying to figure out what's going on with it. Not, I shouldn't have not been able to find that screw which was loose in there and definitely looked terrible. I should have not been able to find that fan which is also making a rattling sound once you press on it. That shouldn't be a big issue with normal use. And overall, this should not happen. Now, normal people should not, in any circumstance, take their uh, laptops apart. That will definitely void a warranty. And if you don't want to be out some, uh, some thousands of dollars or more on devices such as this, then definitely do not go ahead and do it. Now, I will say it again, I would have never taken the time to take this apart if it wasn't for this YouTube channel and the chance that it actually gave me to make this video for you guys. Uh, if you do find that this information was useful to you guys, you know, you could do me a solid hit that like button share subscribe and um, You know stick around for more videos 
as always of course leave your thoughts and comments down in the box below because i always go through and i try to answer to each and every one of you guys because you're so awesome but uh, yeah if it wasn't for this youtube channel i would have never went through the trouble of taking this apart i did not want to void the warranty but that rattling sound was actually driving me insane and you know when something is rattly and we have this uh, misperception or common perception that if things are light in hand they feel cheap this is light-ish but not very light it does actually feel very premium it is a bit dirty now but it is definitely a solid machine when it comes to performance and it would have been an absolute shame if it really disappointed on the i should say not the aesthetics but the design and build quality of it overall and okay let's just uh, assume that this was i don't know some damage that occurred during the shipping but although that screw definitely points out to quality assurance and quality control during the production stage of this guy. So Asus, get your stuff in order, man, because this ain't a cheap laptop. But uh, other than that, guys, you know, I'm happy I solved my issue. I will be definitely keeping this guy and keep you updated with more videos, maybe even gaming on it if you want to see that sort of stuff, because this can definitely game. And uh, see you guys in the next one. You've been absolutely amazing. See ya. Bye-bye.